Hi friends. Welcome to the enchanting world of Radha and Krishna. A timeless tale of love, devotion, and divine mystique. As we immerse ourselves in the melodious tales of Radha and Krishna, you will be transported to a realm where love knows no bounds and where the divine interweaves with the mortal. The story of Radha and Krishna is one of the most celebrated and cherished narratives in Hindu mythology, especially in the context of the Bhagavatha Purana and other sacred texts. This epic narrative, set in the pastoral backdrop of Vrindavan, unfolds the divine and passionate love between Radha and Krishna. Krishna was born in the town of Mathura, to Vasudeva and Devaki. However, due to a prophecy that predicted Devki's eighth son, Krishna would be the killer of his wicked uncle, King Kamsa. Krishna was transported to the village of Gokul, shortly after his birth. There he was raised by the leader of the cowherds, Nanda, and his wife Yashoda. Krishna grew up as a cowherd in Gokul, and displayed his divine nature from an early age. He performed miracles, defeated demons, and enchanted the villagers with his enchanting flute music. His childhood was filled with miraculous acts, and playful pranks, earning him the nickname, Makan Chaw, which means butter thief. He would often steal butter, from the houses of the villagers in Vrindavan. One of the most famous stories involves, Krishna and his friends devising clever ways to reach the butter pots hanging from the ceilings. Despite his mischief, the villagers adored Krishna and his charming antics. His playful interactions with the cowherd girls called gopis, lay the foundation for his eventual love story with Radha. Radha, on the other hand, is believed to have been born in Barsana, a neighboring village to Gokul. She was the daughter of King Vrishabhanu, and Queen Kirthi, making her a princess among the gopis. Radha is revered for her unparalleled devotion and love, for Krishna. Her name is often inseparable from Krishna's in the law of the divine love. The love between Radha and Krishna is divine and transcends human understanding. It is often described as the union of the individual soul, with the divine. On a full moon night, in the forests of Vrindavan, Krishna plays his flute, calling upon the gopis to join him, in a circular dance. This mystical dance is known as the, Rasa Leela. It symbolizes the divine union, between the individual soul and the supreme consciousness. Apart from their enchanting love story, Krishna imparts profound philosophical teachings to Radha and the gopis. He emphasizes the importance of selfless devotion, and detachment from worldly desires. He teaches that true love should be devoid of any material expectations and should be a means of attaining spiritual enlightenment. During Krishna's stay in Vrindhaven, Radha became his beloved friend, advisor, and consort. But, when Krishna had to return to his rightful throne and worldly affairs, and he left Radha at Vrindhaven, Radha waited as Krishna defeated his enemies and became king. In the course of time, he married Satyabhama and Rukmini and raised a family. But Radha kept waiting. However, some people believe Radha married Iron alias Abhimani, and gave birth to a son called Shon. During this period, Radha and Krishna were physically separated, 
but their emotional and spiritual connection remained unwavering. Radha's love for Krishna is often depicted as selfless and unconditional. In many stories, Radha's deep devotion and longing for Krishna are emphasized. It is said that Radha's love for Krishna is so pure that it transcends physical and worldly desires, serving as a symbol of the devotee's love for the divine. Eventually, Radha left Vrindhaven to meet Krishna at Dwarka in his palace. Krishna welcomed her and treated her with the same love, affection, and respect that he had before, and asked her to stay with him in the palace. But she was not happy there, since he was busy with his duties, and he could not attend to her personally. She left the palace without informing him and walked back to her city. When Radha was walking in a forest on her way to Vrindhaven, she heard the footsteps of someone following her. She turned back to look at who it was. It was none other than Krishna himself. Krishna asked her why she left him without even informing him. Radha said, that she felt lonely as he was busy with his royal duties, and so, she decided to go back to her city. When Krishna asked her, what she wanted from him, she asked him to play his flute, like he did when they were children. Krishna wasted no time and started playing his flute, and Radha was hearing the divine music with her eyes closed. She never opened her eyes again. Krishna could not bear Radha's death, and he broke his flute, as a symbolic ending of love, and threw it into the bush. Then he began to meditate in the forest to leave his body. Meanwhile, a hunter named Jara, perceived him to be a deer, and shot an arrow at him. Ultimately, the poisonous arrow took the physical life of Krishna as well. Thus, the story of Radha and Krishna is a profound and timeless narrative, that goes beyond the boundaries of time and space. It symbolizes the eternal love between God and the individual soul, encapsulating the essence of devotion, selflessness, and the quest for spiritual enlightenment. Radha's unwavering love for Krishna, and Krishna's divine teachings, continue to inspire and guide countless devotees, on their spiritual journeys. It remains a cherished part of Hindu mythology, celebrated through art, literature, and religious practices, and serves as a beacon of divine love and devotion, for all. End of the epic love story of Radha and Krishna. Thank you for watching. Hope you have enjoyed this audiobook on the legendary love story of Radha and Krishna. Do not forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe to the video. Visit our channel www.youtube.com slash at Weaver's Nest. For more information, visit the website www.weaversnest.org.